Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Here's your host, Cyrus Webb. And welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. But for a radio audience here in Mississippi at WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com, we're glad that you all could be with us. Also, it's tuning in through our friends at iHeartRadio and Amazon Music Podcast. We're glad you all could be with us as well. When I say the name Tiffany Faison, you guys know her because of her great work in the kitchen. She's not only a chef and restaurateur, but also she is the new Food Network's Tournament of Champions winner. We're going to talk to her about her tremendous success and what it's been like for her to share her love of food with the world. Tiffany, thank you so much for the time. Really appreciate it. Oh my gosh, Cyrus. Thanks for having me. I appreciate you. So, Tiffany, I've Great. been following you for I, look, I've been following you for quite some time, and so this is such an honor to speak with you. And so, first of all, I just want to say congratulations on all of your success. What has this been like for you, Tiffany, to see all your hard work paying off for you? Oh, it's been so um, rewarding and um, redemptive. You know, I think in some ways when people talk about uh, not finding success for a really long time and being grateful for that. And it's not that I haven't had success, but I haven't had a big win like this. It really, it's all the cliches, right? It really does make it that much sweeter. Um, and the timing was just right for me. And it, um, it's just, I'm in a really good place where I can appreciate every second of this. So it feels great. Thank you. Awesome. I love that. And your love of food is one of the things that really drives you, and you're wanting to please the palate. When did that start for you, Tiffany? When did you know that food was going to be, in many ways, your voice to the world? That's such a great question. I didn't for a long time. Um, I don't have this sort of traditional story about growing up your mom's knee, learning recipes. That was not at all my upbringing, um, much to my mom's chagrin, frankly. Um, and it just it's been interesting for a long time. But I do remember um, when I was, I worked in restaurants my whole life, um, for the most part, and I was, you know, 15 years old, working at like a 50s diner, and I worked the milkshake station, and I would, you know, put like ungodly amounts of whipped cream on something and pile it up like <laughs> super, super high, and, you know, just, and I would take that to our guests, and I remember before it was about food, it was about pleasing people. And I would see people's eyes light up, and they're like, "Woo! ah, look at this. This is incredible. Um, and what doing that, made, how it made people feel. And so yeah. I think that was the thing that really hooked into me initially was that food could make people feel so special. And then it, you know, evolved over the course of the next, you know, 10, 15 years before I started cooking in kitchens. Um, and then I began to understand what, what food could do and how versatile it was and um, how interesting it was and, and how it still could make people feel. And so I think for me it's become this thing that um, is satisfying to me and I know I'll never get to the end of it. And so there's something about wow. that that just keeps me constantly searching for more. Tiffany, I think I'm so glad you shared that. That, and I think the other thing, though, about you, anyone who's followed your journey, is that you are not afraid to take chances, and you're not afraid to stay true to yourself. Where does that courage come from? Because you know, so many people, you know, they're just trying to get in, <laughs> so they'll do what it takes to get in, right? But you have really been true to yourself along the way. What has helped you to do that? I mean, I think um, just. Uh, a basic understanding that we all get one go at this, right? We get one life. Mm-hmm. And it's wasted if you're not exactly who you are. And that's not to say, you know, I get to say whatever I want all the time, but at the core of who I am and my belief system and my, you know, character, I, I am who I am, and I believe that that's not just for me, that's for everyone, and we're all greater for what we can bring to the table in showing up as, as truly who we are. So. Um, I think that's the core of it. I believe it up for others, so I um, inherently make space for it for my We get one code. No one has time to be someone else. So um, I've always felt that way. I've always felt that way. Well, it's definitely paid off for you. For those who are just tuning in, you're listening to Conversations Live. We're excited to welcome Tiffany Faison to our program today. You guys know her as a chef and entrepreneur, and also entrepreneur, but she's also the winner of Food Network's Tournament of Champions. So this experience for you with Tournament of Champions, uh, Tiffany, you're no stranger to television. What was it like for you, though, to be able to once again be able to showcase your craft, but also to be around other talented chefs, too? It's such a special experience, um, 
and you know more this year than ever. The 32 chefs that came in, you know, we had I had done it last year, and um, we had a lot of returning chefs, and then we had a lot of new chefs that came in. Um, and the talent level is just extraordinary, right? Like, um, and and it's something that is both inspirational, aspirational, and terrifying because you know how good everyone is, and yeah. everyone can win it, and everyone is beatable. And so, um, and there's a camaraderie ar- around that. Not everyone that came this season was um, particularly drawn to that camaraderie, but you could see <laughs> the people that weren't. Um, so the game playing started and stopped very quickly, and a lot of people like were were kind of out soon. Um, and then you know the core of people that I think were there for the right reasons continue to um, get closer as we do, and um, and there's just it is truly mutual admiration society. And so you watch each other cook, and we all talk about our cooks and. Um, and there's thread with all of us that we are keenly aware of how good the, everyone else is. We all know that we bring a lot of talent to the table, and we know anyone can have a brilliant round or a really bad round. So it's a it's a roller coaster for sure. Well, all about showing up. Last thing I want to ask you, Tiffany, and then we're going to let our audience know how to stay connected with you, and that is about the what's next. You've done so much. You've achieved so much. What What are you looking forward to next? Balance. <laughs> I'm just I'm joking. That's impossible. I've, I've learned that you can you can have it all, but not all the time. So I'm just learning how to do mm. that and how to kind of find some of um, some time for me in my life, and then you know also continuing to understand like how to hit the gas. Uh, more acutely, yeah. I am um, I just opened three spaces in a food hall in Boston in the High Street Place. Um, I'm reconcepting one of my restaurants. Uh, in the Fenway um, on Boylston Street in Boston. And then we just finished, we just wrapped the show for the Food Network, and it'll be Brooke, Antonia, and myself. um, It's called Beachside Battle. So you guys will, yeah, see that this summer, which will be a lot of fun. Nice, nice. Well, Tiffany, again, such an honor to speak with you. Congratulations on the most recent win, that being Food Network's Tournament of Champions. How can our audience stay connected with you, Tiffany? Um, You can find me at Tiffany Faison on Instagram and under at Big Heart Hospitality on Instagram, and um, you can get connected to all of our restaurants and social channels through that. All right. Well, Tiffany, congratulations to you again. Thank you so much for the time, and looking forward to chatting with you again. I would love it. Thank you so much for making the time with me. I appreciate it. Okay, my pleasure. And we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live, and let's go make today amazing. Take care.